Hello out there, my name is Benjamin and thank you so much for joining me here once again in the studios of Blabend Solutions. So in this very video, I will be taking you through a step by step with no step skipped on how to design a very simple photography or a videography signature. Let me say something like this. Before we kickstart, let me take this opportunity to say a very big thanks to you for clicking this video. If this is your first time of joining me here, please do well to hit on the subscribe button, like, share, and let me know your thoughts in the comment box below. If you've already done so, thank you so much. If you're already a part of this family, thank you so much for showing up once again. Without any further ado, let's get started. This is my Photoshop application and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create a new working document. To do that, come to File, click on New, let's say Photography, let me name this logo and I'm going to go with the size 1920 by 1080 right, 300 resolution, pixels per inch. A white background and I think everything is okay here so click OK if we are done so I have something like this all right so this is a photography logo or a photography signature so all I need is my text or my type 2 right I might need other two if I want to do or make modifications to the logo right so to begin select my type 2 in here and I'm going to type the name of my photography business in here. What is the name of your photography business? Just type it out. So mine is Jamaima, J A M I M A R, right? That is the name. And I'm going to type again. And this is photography. Photo Right. Did I spell anything wrong? Yeah, yeah I did. <laughs> so if we are done, select the move to and let's try to arrange things and make modifications to this text. So I'm going to start with the Jemima, right? So I'll come and select my character to or my character panel in here, and I'm going to do the necessary modifications. If you can't find your character panel here just come to the windows tab click on it and you find character so just click on character and we have it here so i'm going to use a font called that that is the name of the font the Brittany script but let me change the color so it'll be visible enough for everyone to have a view of it good I'm going to change the J to a capital J but not a small J so let me do that this is very big so let me reduce the font size to something moderate so I think 24 would do so let me move this in here like this So now that we are done with the Jamaima, let me go straight to the photography and work on that one as well. So with this, I'm going to select a font called SCH. I don't know if it's Shadow. Yeah, Shadow BT. So that is the name of the font. I'm going to select this font. Let's change the color to black as well. I'm going to reduce the size to something like 14. Let me make 18. All right, no, 14 is okay. I think 14 is okay. Then I'm going to increase the width of the text in here. So I'm going to space out the text. That is too much. So let me reduce this back a bit. Okay. Then I'm going to move the text up in here. But it's too much. So let me. Okay. Okay. 
so something like this is cool right all right guys so now this is the signature but i want to add some small touching to it all right so to do that i'm going to reduce the size of my canvas to something small like this and i'm going to create a new layer so and i'll select my pen tool click somewhere like this come in here like this and i'll click and draw something like this not too much something like this then i'll click on my alt key break this point come in here and draw something like this think something like this okay so click alt key again and break this point now let's join this back together so i have this right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click in here and i'm going to say fill path All right so click ok and our path is filled right click again and let's delete the black path that is there so we have something nice like this so i'll come in here right click go to blending options and change the color of this to black right color overlay and i'm going to change this to black Press Ctrl 0 to scale back your canvas here. Sorry, Ctrl Z. Select your move tool and I'm going to put this somewhere here like this. Ctrl T to get something like this. Put this in here like this. Okay, so something like this is okay and our logo is ready for us right so what i'm going to do is I'm, we need to save this as a png transparent file so that we can have a place on our pictures and send them to our client so guys you don't need to go pay someone to design this for you because you've learned it in here but however if you want to pay me to do that for you i'll be very glad to serve you Check the description below for my email address and send me an email and I'll send you an offer. With this being said and done, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video tutorial. If you did learn something in here, please do well to subscribe to the channel, like, share and let me know your thoughts in the comment box below. Until I come your, no your way next time, it is still Blabend Solutions and see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.